What's up guys, Champ here back with another Fortnite video. Today what I got for you guys is going to be a 15 kill, 50 vs 50 gameplay. I'm going to drop into the circle first, and I'm going to end up being one of only two men standing at the end of the game. I'm going to clutch out this W, bring you high action, high kill gameplay. Throughout this gameplay, I'm going to be going over some tips on how to use the AR properly in this game. I know a lot of people struggle on using the assault rifle in this game at certain ranges. You got Bloom in this game and that can become a big deal if you're not used to this third person shooter that could be a problem so there's a couple tips that i can go over here that can really help you guys out if you don't know them already obviously the most basic one is your sensitivity you got to find a sensitivity that works for you if you're missing all your shots and you're trying to go to left and you're going too far all the time your sensitivity is way too high if you're trying to like find someone, track someone on the left, and you're playing them short every time you try to track them, and your sensitivity is a little bit too low. In this game, you got to find a nice medium because you have to be able to build as well and hit fire people with the shotgun. So you got to find that nice medium. For me, I only do a five. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best builder in the world, but I'm a very good shooter and very good and accurate in this game. With the assault rifle, I'm completely deadly. You're going to see that in this gameplay. As I showed you guys at the beginning, the gameplay, the action of the game doesn't start until 545. I landed into the circle right off the bat, landed at the mansion right here, got my loot up, and I'm going to go right into the action. But the other team, really don't find them until 5 minutes and 45 seconds. So if you're only looking to watch the gameplay and just want to see the action, that's when it starts. Don't miss it. I'm going to clutch out this gameplay. It's going to be a crazy amount of kills. Decent amount of building. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the worst builder in the world. I switched to Builder Pro, so I'm a lot better now. You guys are going to see tons of improvements on that. Builder Pro, if you haven't made that switch yet and you're not a good builder, then make the switch. If you're already a good builder and you're using one of the other ones, then it doesn't really matter because the ultimate goal is just to be good at the game and that's all you got to worry about. So there's a couple different sensitivities in this game. There's a regular sensitivity, which I keep at a 5. Then there's the aim down sight sensitivity, which I believe I have at a 0.45. And that's up to you guys. Play around with them. See what you find to be the easiest for you. But then once you get it, and you figure it out, don't switch it, because it's going to throw your whole game off if you switch it. I know a lot of these YouTubers are like, switch to higher sensitivity, do this, do that. If you've been playing on something and you're really good already for like five months, if you switch it, it is going to throw you off at least for a couple days, and you're going to play like crap for those days, and you're probably going to get frustrated and not want to go through with it. But if that's the plan and you want to switch your sensitivity, just know you it is going to throw you off for a little bit. But that's not my main tips in this game. My main tips in this game is all about how you aim down sights, how you pop your gun, how often you pop your gun, and just no holding the trigger with the AR. Certain guns you could do certain things with, certain guns you really can't. you got to take advantage of that first shot accuracy because that's how you're going to hit a lot of these shots from range with the assault rifle, especially if you're using a basic gray AR, which I pretty much have for the beginning part of this game, and you're going to see it's not going to slow me down. A lot of people think you need to scar in your hand to get multiple kills and that you get high hit damage, but that's not true at all. Yes, the scar is going to get you more hit points off of people, but it doesn't mean you can't shoot people at the same ranges without having a scar in your hand. So you guys are going to see in this gameplay, I'm going to get 15 kills pretty much the last five kills of the game to clutch it out as well. But I'm gonna get all these kills using my assault rifle. I believe I have about one sniper kill as well. As you see, I just picked up that sniper right there. Don't even have a shotgun right now, which is a problem. I am gonna pick one of those up, but it's gonna end up being useless because I don't end up needing the shotgun in this gameplay. Key thing I could tell you guys before you get started with your gun place, with your assault rifle, is you want to have the high ground. If you have the high ground, you're going to be able to shoot people in the head more often, which is going to put them down easier, and you're going to have to take less shots to kill them. Next tip, and probably one of the easiest but hardest tips to, to figure out, is you have to crouch when you shoot. And if you're not used to doing that, this is going to take a little bit of time to get used to crouching, shooting, and then uncrouching and running again. You just got to get used to the flow of the game. The more you play, the more you're going to get used to that. So you got to go from sprinting, jumping around, and going all over the place to just kind of pausing, crouching, and then shooting your opponent. 
Usually it's good to build a little cover first before you do that, but you don't always get that chance. Right now I'm running right into the mix. You can see the action has started. For some reason I thought there was guys in here, and I think I was wrong. The guy ran back. Yeah, I just saw him run back into this little halfway house over here. I'm going to run after him. Someone's going to kill him, and then the action is going to get started. I'm going to start this game off right off with a four-person kill. And I'm just right into the action from then on out. The action pretty much doesn't stop throughout this gameplay. And I'm going to give you guys a couple more tips right before it goes on. But I want to actually show you guys me shooting before I get into these tips. But you see, I'm about to sneak up on the enemy right now with this gray assault rifle. I'm going to get a nice four piece. And I'm going to explain to you guys how I was able to hit all these shots on these people. One, you see me ducking. What else do you see me doing? I'm not just holding down the trigger on the gun. I am tapping the trigger. Tap, 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 tap. But most importantly, what you guys don't realize, this is for us console, you, console users, because people at PC really don't have the problem they can point their mouse, they're very accurate, but on console it's a little tougher to aim and you need to use that aim assist to your advantage. So what you do is while you're popping the person, you see me aim in and aim out, aim in, aim out, aim in, aim out. You're going to get constant aim assist and you're going to get those hits that, you know, they're going to hit now instead of you just thinking you're aimed right on the guy and you're missing you're actually going to get better hit detection because you're aiming in and aiming out while tapping the button those are both very important you can't just be holding down the trigger aiming in aiming out that will work a little bit but you want to tap the button while aiming in and aiming out another key thing is if you want to get that first per that first shot 100 percent you have to aim in, wait on your shot, make sure you're completely on him, and it's got like a, it's like a system you kind of got to do. You got to aim in right as it aims down sight. That's when you pop your bullet. There's a timing to it. You see, I just did it right there. I hit that dude with 227s from kind of far, right off the bat from pretty far away. Take notice to what I do in this gameplay because I do those tips a lot. Those are what help me get straight shots on people obviously you got to be accurate too that all comes from playing tons of video games tons of not even first third person shooter games it all comes from playing call of duty and centering and just keeping your you know your game centered that comes from time but these tips that i'm telling you guys about aiming in aiming out using that aim assist to your advantage and tapping the button crouching while shooting those are all very helpful. Definitely have the high ground as often as possible. You're going to have way more consistency with your assault rifle. You're going to get way more kills from ranges. And people are not going to be able to touch you because they're going to be missing their shots. And you're going to be hitting all your shots. So those are the main tips that I got for using your assault rifle in this game. I'm telling you guys, the color of it does matter, but that's just for the hit points. If you think that you need a scar to hit some of these shots, you really don't. See, I told you guys I can build a little something. I'm not the best in the world, but there's a little bit of building going on in my gameplay. And I'm getting better. Console player, so it's not going to be the best. I try to get this guy in the head with the snipe. Missed him. But don't worry, he's going to go down too. I guess I do have a shotgun kill in this game as well. But then the rest of my kills are going to be all assault rifle kills. I only missed that shot because he knocked me down right there. But I'm going to make sure I aim it nice and slow right into his head right there. Get that kill and finish out strong. I'm going to pick up this blue assault rifle and I'm just going to go off with it. You guys are going to see them. I'm going to clutch out this gameplay. Stay tuned for the whole thing. I'm telling you guys, I get 9 of the last 13 kills. Basically put the team on the back for this one to pull off the W. One last tip that I almost forgot to tell you guys. If you see that you're aiming in and you look like you should be hitting the person and it just keeps missing, 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 but you're like, oh, I'm hitting this guy. Don't sit there and keep shooting at him. Take your sights off him. Stop hitting the trigger button completely. Let like a second go by. Take cover for one second and pop back out. Readjust. Your aim will go back to normal and you'll start hitting those shots again. That's how you deal with Bloom. Once Bloom starts making you miss shots or the recoil of the gun. I mean, there's not much recoil on the guns in this game, but there's a little bit of recoil. Or it just does like a natural recoil where it makes you kind of just miss shots that you feel like you're supposed to be hitting. 
that's when you just readjust. You just stop shooting. You have to take time. You have to notice that and be like, all right, this, this gunfight's not working. Stop shooting. Turn around. Well, I just turned around right there, but that wasn't exactly what I was talking about. I just noticed that that was just a bad spot to be in. In these 50 versus 50, you got to pick your gunfights, man. If you start running into like six, seven people and it's just you and they're they're all focused on you, you're gonna get in trouble and you're probably gonna get killed. But you're gonna see in this gameplay, right here is what I'm talking about. There's a couple gunfights where I'm like, I should have been hitting that guy, why wasn't I hitting that guy? I just stopped shooting at him and I went over to this guy instead. And what did I do? I immediately hit him on my first two shots. Cause those first two shots, when you aim in, those are gonna be the most accurate shots. So if you could readjust and then re-aim in like I just did on this play a couple times, you're going to get that hit detection back and you're going to start hitting him again. Like right there, I should have readjusted for that guy and aimed in. I'm actually, gonna, this guy's going to live because I just got sniped at and I had to stop focusing on him for a second. I wanted to kill him, but he did all that crazy building down there in the crater. I don't know what he was thinking running around in the middle of the crater in the middle of a 50 versus 50 gunfight when the circle is this small. That was pretty done. But as you can see, I'm hitting tons of people from range here with this assault rifle, and it's all because I'm using those tips. So as you can see right now, I only got six kills. There's only 12 people left at the end of my team. I'm going to finish with 15, so you know I'm gonna go off at the end of this game. So those have been my tips on how to use the AR. Leave some comments in the comments section. Let me know what you think. I'm improving daily at this game. Black Ops 4 is gonna be coming out. You know I'm gonna be going hard at that game as well. You're gonna see tons more videos at Champ Gaming. So subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button and enjoy the gameplay.